What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with another video. And we got a game tonight, man. LaMelo Ball versus Giannis Antetokounmpo. Hornets versus Bucks. And this was a top billing game. This was and could be NBA Finals or NBA Conference Finals type of preview. Let's get into it. With my dude, AD the Hero. What's up? Well, we getting it down in the ball of state, baby. baby. I just want to let you guys know this is Super Colson, and most of you guys that are watching AB the Heroes videos are not subscribed. So if you guys could do so, and if you like these videos he's making, please subscribe. Like and subscribe, and also go to my channel. If you like what I'm making, like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. All right, so earlier today um riding with my son and i'm letting him see the the subs and stuff on the channel we've been growing and uh the views been up and immediately he got so frustrated and it was like you got more viewers than you got subscribers you gotta let them know that they gotta subscribe to your channel if they watching because then you and i was like bro how about this why don't you just say that for the video he was like, all right, so we recorded that earlier. But let's get into tonight's game, man, because tonight's game was was a hell of a game. And and I'll say this, the really the, the last, the third to the fourth quarter was, was worth, if you paid a ticket to go see this game, you got your money's worth in that fourth quarter. Um, tonight, I feel like we seen a matchup between two future head-to-head -head MVP candidate type guys. We already know Giannis been there, done that. But LaMelo hooping like he hooping tonight, I be hyping him up on the all-star tip. All-star, all-star. He was hooping tonight like he was trying to be an MVP of this league. And I know he is. But he looked like he was trying to be close to it tonight. Um, that ending the game with that three-pointer um, to tie it up before Giannis then went down and then got a bucket. Y'all should have heard me in here screaming, waking up the whole house. Oh! Oh! But this is the thing that I always say and I always champion a lot of these hoops guys for is that's how you know you elite to me. When you need 40 points to win it, and you go get the 40 points. A man, LaMelo had a career night, as the the, the thing says, but in order to, to really eclipse that MVP mark, you gotta go get the 40 ball. You get the 40 ball, you win the game. But let's get into tonight's game, and by doing so, man, I really just wanna skip all the way to the fourth quarter. Look at this right here, because this is the tail of the tape of why this was a game and how the Hornets were still in it and, and just how great LaMelo was playing and why they decided to draw up that, that last Hornets possession for him to take that three. Um, you got him six for seven from the field, four for five from behind the arc, didn't attempt any free throws, but here's the critical part. And this is why that shot even became necessary is these three turnovers. If I know LaMelo like I think I know LaMelo, and even y'all, you can just from his interviews and how much passion and how much like um, it means to him to win these games, I'm telling you that I know the thing that he's going to work on um, probably tonight in the gym, if not first thing in the morning, is driving to the basket and them just being able to strip that thing away from him. And here's the thing tonight, too. He was doing the thing that I just, I, I, most guys have gotten away from it, but it's like something happened and then you automatically go up like this. You're just looking around for the call. Did that a few times tonight. But I think, man, 16 points down there in the fourth quarter from him was just epic, man. Epic, epic, epic. He really solidified himself. Even tonight ended with Giannis saying, bro, we got to swap jerseys. Can I get your jersey? Giannis was waiting for LaMelo after the game to get the jersey as well. So that's even crazy. But let's look at the... the and, and this fourth quarter is crazy when you consider this. My man 
missed his first three shots from behind the arc. He was 0 for 3 at one point, knocked one three down in the fourth in the first quarter, and then you know what I mean, it scored an extra addition, an additional bucket. So it's like if you're not mentally prepared to hoop tonight and you start the first quarter with uh let's see five points one turnover already and uh and that could throw anybody else off but my man got you know how lebron did the thing the other day that's my man Lamelo after tonight you feel me but let's go here and then so quarter by quarter it, it didn't it, it either got better or or really just plateaued with him tonight but overall man great performance from Lamelo. this is like uh in football college football you on your know, Heisman campaigns, you have a Heisman night. You know what I'm saying? The folks say, this was your Heisman moment. I feel like tonight, even in a loss, felt like a Heisman moment for LaMelo Ball. Uh, but if we look at the, the contributors around there, I felt like we got Miles Bridges back tonight in a way that we haven't seen him. Um, the three ball wasn't falling for him, but he just got downhill at the right times. And going downhill for him, his athleticism just makes it so easy for him to finish around the rim and get buckets. And he was able to do that tonight. Um, Kelly Oubre has just been a stud as of late for this Hornets team. He's the guy who I was scared that he would come in and not know his role, but it's playing basketball right now. Like he was built to do what he's been doing. And uh, he's been dominating and been very reliable for this Hornets ball club. Um, Gordon Hayward, decent night from him um i think late in that game he might have took a shot that like just wasn't warranted he ended up taking like a long two um and and, and it, it it he could have gotten a better shot it could have moved the ball around could have tagged the basket or something i know that that mid-range game is his game but it was like he stopped and then faded away in his spunt and then pulled just a just a, a, a terrible shot for that time of the game. Um, but that's what you got from him. Uh, a PJ Washington who had the tough task of trying to guard Giannis for a lot of the night. The fact that he came away with 10 rebounds um, says a lot about what he was trying to do. Um, uh, played a decent, decent game. Um, Jaden McDaniel still getting some minutes. Actually, what was funny is that we got an ish miss sighting tonight. Um, and I was surprised that he got in because literally he's been getting some DMPs, like did not play coach's decision. And so that's interesting um, that that was there for him. Uh, one of the other things that's notable about this lineup here is you see no James Booknight and you also see no... <coughs> You see no James Booknight, and you see no Kai Jones on here, right? Uh, so which means that wherever they are, they're with the uh, the G League squad right now. So um, career night for Giannis as well. I mean, typical like highlight night: forty points, nine assists, twelve rebounds. Damn near had a triple double. Um, the dude is just a, a monster, a freight train. It's just hard to stop him. He get to going down to the, the the hoop, and it's like, yo, what can you do? That final play was just perfect. Draw up a, a play where Giannis is going downhill, attacking the rim, and the only thing that you could possibly do to stop him is if you could get your feet set in front of him and then make him charge you, right? But it's like, that's a tough point of the game because... Um, even though he's not a great free throw shooter, you you don't want to send him to the line and give him, you know what I mean, bail him out like that. And they didn't do it. Uh, you made Grayson Allen didn't kick nobody tonight, so I was I was happy about that. Um, Drew Holiday, bro, let me holler at you for a second. Uh, Drew, my dog Lamelo put you on your backside, and I was I was I was a little disappointed with uh. Damn, I, I just forgot his name. The Hornets announcer, because he tried to shoot you some bell and then say that the floor was sweat, wet or whatever, but it really was just that crossover, man. Ain't nothing you could do about it, Drew. Well, it happens to the best of us. Um, I remember the first time I got crossed up. Uh, but uh, still a hell of a game, man. We go here. You see the point differential for the most part looked like uh, the Bucks was about to get it. And then right here, into that third quarter, going into the fourth, it just got 
back and forth, back and forth. And it just was a uh, turned into an amazing game, man. Um, so that's pretty much what we got tonight, man. 125 to 127, high scoring affair. Both teams shot it really well. Um, 50% from the field, damn near. 40% from the three point line. 85% from the, the, the free throw line. Um, just a solid team all around uh, game for both squads. But here go to Taylor to take, man. That's a do it all your time. The rebounds will get you. Um, the Hornets and the Bucks right here. High assist totals for this this game here. Um, solid performance tonight, man. And uh, um, a great game, man. Lamelo looking like he. If you doubt it. <laughs> You don't doubt anymore. That's all I got to say. No, not peace. Plus, triple B's, we out.